that if you take experienced London taxi drivers and you image their brain, they have a very interesting feature. There's an area in the brain, right back here, deep, deep in here, about like that, called the hippocampus. You have one on each side. And that area has been implicated in two things in studies. One is memory, and the other is spatial, spatial recognition. Finding your way, okay, how do I get there and so on. London taxi drivers have a significantly bigger hippocampus than normal controlled subjects. So that, that's, that's one of the few things we know. They're trained, right? They're trained. They're trained. So before, before training, they, they were just equal like any other common? The assumption is, the assumption is that, yeah. So I, 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 I initially follow-up study would be to take these guys before they become, you know, taxi drivers, study their brain. And they, they look at the train things. So should I stop now? Oh, okay, one last question. Another one about God? Einstein, Einstein, yes, about his brain. I have read that article, and uh, you have said that uh, there are 100 billion neurons, uh, more than 40 100, billion. 100 million neurons. 100 yeah. million. Billion. Yeah, and uh, more than 1,000 types of cells. Yeah, that we are different. Different, our brains are different and more complex. <coughs> and has many functions, but mm -hmm. the integration, integrative function of the brain could be considered as a cognition or intelligence. And uh, we know that there is a simple way to measure this complex function, IQ. Yeah? For example, IQ. Uh, I am pathologist. Uh, we do work in neuropathology. And uh, is any uh, way or are there any investigations, research, to make integrated methods for um, estimation, uh, the uh, architecture of organization of brain, uh, good, bad, uh, how to say, um, in morphological way, to estimate, to evaluate the functional ability of the brain using such data number of layers, number of synapses, number of types, as an adequate method for morphology to uh, evaluate IQ in the species? The, the answer is yes, that there are uh, methods that people have used, and papers have been published relating some morphological differences in IQ. They're very, very complicated, though. So for example, on average, women's brains are about 15% smaller than male brains. But everybody knows that women are smarter than men. So it's not a simple little thing, so I'll stop there. <laughs>